Hello, welcome to AppSonics Intelligent Software Delivery Platform Demo for Argo. In this case, I'm going to show you how to use machine learning based automated analysis of Argo rollout to reduce failures and errors during your uh, uh, during your progressive deployments to Kubernetes uh, clusters. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use an application called Argo AppSonics Ops, Demo, and that's defined in the Git, as you can see here. Um, and you can see that um, it has the roller.yaml, which is typically how you set up the rollout progressive delivery. And you can also see in this particular case, I'm using a canary deployment strategy, um, but also a couple of weights, a couple of steps. With stepping, I'm stepping doing a step of 20% traffic and then 30% traffic. And also in this case, I'm adding an automated analysis. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's go back to the application. From here, you can go to the application. Hey, let me just uh, do a um, do a filter for rollout. You can see this is a rollout. I've already started a, a new rollout, and you can see that uh, this is the rollout dashboard. It's it's it says already stepping through twenty percent of traffic, and now we're in the midst of doing the analysis. The analysis here today is set for fifteen minutes. Obviously, in this demo, uh, I want to just show you what the results will could potentially look like for a completed application, completed uh, um, uh, analysis. So in this case, I'm going to just take this example here, previous run, uh, that shows you that we can automatically analyze logs and bring out only the unexpected or new issues that are found in the new release compared to the baseline release. In this case, there are a couple of warnings being found uh, uh, that that's great, but in many cases, you may find an error or a critical error. Uh, in that case, the score will go down to zero or lower that allow you to stop the rollout. This is a very powerful way to automatically detect issues um, You know, many times a day. You may have hundreds of applications, hundreds of microservices that are going through uh, multiple rollout steps and being able to do automated way to detect issues is a great thing. Um, you can go and reclassify errors and warnings. This is done automatically through machine learning, but if you want to reclassify them, you could do that in this case, I can call it an error, for example. Next time onwards, it is considered an error. Essentially, it's a learning system. So essentially, as you learn, as you do new releases, you learn your own self, you can, you can, uh, uh, you can learn as well. You can um, also do metric analysis. Again, similarly, we can look at different kinds of metrics that our particular application is going through and compare the baseline and the new release. If a new release has a significant deviation, again, we, we categorize it as a failure and lower the score. Depending on how many metrics are failing, your score may go to zero. In that case, you would stop the rollout. Let's go back here and take a look at one more thing, which is, um, you know, for this case, particular case, analysis fails. So why did it fail, for example? There are no errors found in the log, which is great, but the metrics, there are three of the metrics that fail, which you basically lower the score significant enough that has failed the particular uh, particular release, particular uh, rollout. And as you can see, this is a very quick way to uh, enable, and you can enable through uh, Git based, completely Git based. So in this case, you enable the analysis in the rollout, and then you can have something called a templates uh, that essentially defines uh, application-specific log and metrics template that defines anything that you want to say specifically for this application. We've already given you the base template for you, but there are possibilities that you, can, you may have a custom uh, errors and warnings that you want to add to these templates so that your application analysis is, is very accurate for your use case. So this is how you set up an automated analysis. To summarize, Opsimex ISD for Argo allows you to do automated analysis of Argo rollout so that you can prevent failures in production during your progressive delivery. And thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more, visit us at www.opsimex.com. Thank you.